Good morning, Cambodia. I, I am here today going, it's a Saturday the 9th of November and uh, driving to Rohat Garden. This is one of the coolest places I've ever been to eat some delicious local food. And I will show you how to get there. If you can remember all the streets, I'm gonna show you. Hmm? And when we get there, I'll show you some cool stuff. And I brought my camera, and this time I brought my wide angle lens from the US. So this is a more variety of fun photos I can take with, and I can get a little bit closer to the food so I don't have to use my phone. Now, let's go on this really cool trip. It's uh, 9 15 in the morning and it should be a 20 minutes ride outside of the city now i'm going to show you around and once we get there i'll show you there too so stay tuned we are on the way to the rohat garden and this is the way make sure you remember all these buildings if you want to go there and if you don't well just google the place or you can go to their Facebook account. Just type in Rohat Garden. I will put the link down below. Or maybe I don't. Or maybe I just write it down somewhere. You'll find out. Ooh, look at that snake stuff. Now those are protections to enter the bridges that pass over rivers. So I guess anytime you enter a bridge, you will see one of those protector uh, statues on both sides. So sometimes it's a snake, sometimes it's something else that I don't recognize. This one is another snake, see? The other side of it. It's a snake with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heads. That's a fancy snake. All right, so now we gotta go to that small alleyway that the truck is coming out from. And this bike doesn't want to let us go because it has more important things to do than us. So now this is a, a day market, a morning market usually. And it's very narrow. And this amazing people park in front of the shops just to make sure it's a little bit more inconvenient for us to go through this road. If you travel in the morning to countryside or the middle of any city, you will see a lot of these uh, very cool markets that they sell daily produce and maybe sometimes fish, meat, vegetables, fruits or your other things that you need. And the locals come here every morning, pick up the fresh food, go back home and cook it sometimes it's very narrow like this so you kind of have to navigate your way through these streets somehow here on the left you can see a semi giant river <laughs> and the roads here are very bumpy full of holes so uh, when it rains it's actually really difficult to navigate through here because you're not gonna see where you're driving to it's gonna be all flooded but yeah, these are the side skirts of Phnom Penh or how we, we will call it the boondocks outside of the city but all the cool stuff are here oh, look at this, now we have to navigate this gigantic truck over this very narrow uh, bridge so if there's two cars coming, one have to wait in one side and the other person can go navigate to the other side look at that, that guy is fishing in the river so cool so you get all your fish here for a very good quality. All right, guys, we have arrived back here in Rohat Garden. And now uh, that's the entrance when you come in. And we park the, the white car is ours. And I believe this one is finished. Last time we were here, this one was under construction. So maybe later we could check it out up there. Now let's go around and look at this place. Maybe there are new upgrades to the place that we don't know. Yeah, I haven't been here for a year, so this should be fun.
usually on the right hand side next to that man-made lake they have all these spaces that you can rent to sit They have this huts over here also you can choose now if you want to come here you better contact them before so you can get a reservation and that's a famous water mill over there you're gonna see it's a good season to come out you're gonna see a lot of beautiful flowers as well here you can go see some of the huts on this side they're pretty private so you get your own hut and a little walking entrance to it which is very beautiful as you can hear there is not much of a noise pollution which is very nice for relaxation with family if you come to Phnom Penh this is one of the highly recommended local places to come and eat some local food fresh made so we order some beef which they're famous for half a chicken and corn as well as something else <laughs> and we're gonna see all that I believe that's an old ice machine and these are the coconuts and this is the owner himself doing all the amazing cooking <laughs> Those fish look delicious. <laughs> yeah. You can go here and see the, the famous watermill. This one looks cool. So a lot of people come here to go there and take photos. We can get closer maybe to it. Could be some fish. Hopefully no alligators here today. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, this looks cool. And look at the water lilies. That's a huge one right there. Very beautiful. All right, guys. Now, I think we can go up this thing. Last time it was under construction. Now the owner told me that this is now uh, half done so it should look really cool let's go up here and see how cool is this place this is a really cooler area as much as that as far as the temperature goes so it has a part divided so there's a table you have a full view of the garden itself very peaceful and this place looks nice, I like this deck and I think this area is still under construction so we're gonna just leave it as is and go back. you know no Cambodian food is complemented enough without a fresh coconut to eat mm -mm -mm. all right so the rice and the chicken half chicken and look at the size of that fish and we have the pork and the Brahog. Oh, sorry, that's the pork beef. And then we have the vegetables. Now we're waiting for the corn to. All right, we got the whole thing now.
So we got the coconut, half chicken with the peppers and spices and the sauce. We got the delicious looking corn. Here has the brahup with all the brahup with all the ingredients. A giant fish with amazing teeth. Get some amazing beef and some vegetables and have some rice. Let's enjoy this delicious food. All right, guys, that was the end of the video. Going to Rohat Garden. I hope you enjoyed the video and the photos. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so I can grow this channel bigger and make it more fun. If you have any special requests, write down below and I'll try to make a new video about it. All right, catch you up on the next adventure. Bye-bye.